Hi, I am Alex from medschool.it and in this video I am going to cover how to register for the IMAC medical admission test, which is a crucial step if you want to study medicine in English in Italy. And to make the process as easy as possible, I am going to break it into four simple steps. Also make sure uh, to watch until the end if you want to discover how to register, why you should register as soon as possible, and also how to select the universities wisely so you could increase your chances of getting in. So the whole registration process takes place on the Universe Italy website, which I'm going to show you how you can find it. So we are currently on medschool.it and if you scroll down here you will see the external links here to Universe Italy. So let's just click on that and see what happens. Okay, so we're taking to the universeitaly.it website which is currently is it in Italian, but we can switch it to English by clicking here on the top right corner. And once we did that, we need to go to this IMAT section here and to click on the second link, IMAT 2020. On this page, we simply click on the green button here. And now if you have an, an account already with University Italy, you would need to log in right now. Most of you probably would not have an account yet. So the next step, step number one, will be to open an account on Universe Italy. You can do it by clicking here on why and how to register and then clicking join now. On this page you would like you would really need to make sure that you are filling out your details correctly. So let's just fill it out real quick. Here in your first name make sure you uh, write all your first names just like they appear in the passport in the order they appear in your password and your Sherman, your last name, uh, country of birth should be the right country, city of birth, you should just enter here as well, date of birth, month, year, your gender, and your citizenship. Now here we come to the first um, interesting point, your Italian tax code if you have one. So this tax code is basically a, a special string of numbers and letters, like the one shown here below. This one is, has been actually calculated for you based on all the details that you have entered in, in the registration form. So before you use this code, make sure you didn't do any typos, because if you just, uh, you know, change slightly your, um, your uh, details, it will change the code completely. And this code will serve you for the rest of the process so make sure you also write it down so i don't know my italian text code for example so i'm just clicking here and it will just take this calculated code and we can proceed so now for the email i'm using a temporary email address so let me just co copy it copy it uh, really quickly here and you need to confirm it once again telephone is not mandatory so you'll need to see those asterisks are where it's mandatory or not, your passport or driving license, whatever you have, and where it was issued, validation date. So you just have to look it up on your passport and enter the, um, the uh, dates here. Now let's scroll down your official residence, so where you're currently officially residing. Let's say you're somewhere abroad. Okay, and let's do a save now button. Okay, the registration is successful. So there's, they've sent an email which we need to conform. Let me go to my temporary inbox here and see if I have new emails. Here we have it, Universe Italy registration email. And here you, we can conform, confirm it. This is just my antivirus. Uh, okay, so now after clicking the link, we're here on the Universe Italy website. I'll need to choose a new password, repeat it once again. And now we're in our account. So this is your Universe Italy account now and this is going to be uh, the one you'll be using for the whole registration process. Okay, so now when we have your account, let's go to step number two, registering for the IMAT. I'll just gonna go back to the 
home page go go here to the IMA 2020 the green button again and now you are taking to the space page where you are supposed to select the universities so if you're a European candidate uh, you should probably select as many uh, or all options given here and you should uh, put the priorities so the uh, universities you want to get into the most uh, should be uh, click you should click the first priority here the second choice third choice and so on so of course this would not be a, a valid uh, selection because I'm choosing the same university twice but uh, you get the idea if you're a non-european uh, you would really need to make sure what is your first university choice because this is going to be crucial because as a non-European your other choices are not really considered so make sure you're choosing wisely with your first option In, if you do not know how to choose uh, which university to choose because you don't know if your IMAT score will be high enough um, I have a suggestion for you so there are a couple of things you can do to make your choice a bit uh, more easy so of course you should al also consider what is the best university for your uh, standards uh, also your economic uh, status if you can afford living in a city but just in terms of entry uh, you might want to take one um, IMAT test simulation which you can do for free if you go to imatschool.com uh, so here at imatschool.com, you just you can sign up for free really quickly. Um, I'll just put my name here, password, and sign up. And once you're in the free account, you just go here to the IMAT simulator at the top, and you can have this, for example, simulation for free. Uh, and it will be a timed simulation, and at the end of the simulation, you will get the results calculated for you so um, you can use that as an estimate of how uh, well you will do the actual exam and once you have the score you can actually go back to uh, the medschool.it website and if you go here at the top we have in the public med schools menu the compare all med schools link and when you scroll down you will see the minimal scores for each university um, in uh, previous years so you can have a more or less uh, accurate estimate of where you could be uh, shooting you know in terms of how uh, difficult of a university you can aim for um, don't be too stressed about choosing the um, university as a European at this stage because uh, you can still change this uh, choice afterwards uh, just make sure you choose the, the first one wisely because that would be a bit more difficult to change afterwards but as as uh, long as the as the registration is open which means until uh, the 26th of july 2020 you will be able to change your uh, priorities uh, by emailing um, the uh, website administrators so here we just need to click this this is just basically that they can treat your private data and uh, make sure you read all the instructions here this is a, for example about how to modify your first choice and uh, all the conditions for that and you go to proceed here uh, you can also uh, add your language certification in case you have an english language certificate it might help you in very marginal situations but it's uh, it's not mandatory so that's why it's optional and uh, we can click proceed here now okay so now we come to step number three choosing your IMA test venue so where you're going to see the IMA test so we're gonna see here what countries uh, we have click next and then you will need to choose one center so um, this is really crucial that you do this process uh, in a timely manner because those places are going to be booked out at a certain stage and you don't want to be there where uh, all the places are already taken so make sure you select one uh, option as uh, soon as you can by the way when uh, all venues are taken they just disappear from the list or they are like uh, they appear as non-available 
So in case you stop seeing a certain uh, venue, it probably it's because it's been booked out. Now, what can you do if all the uh, places are booked out? You can either book another country, which you uh, think you will be able to make uh, to, or you can write to um, Cambridge Admissions uh, Company, which is responsible for uh, holding those tests. And you basically ask them if uh, there is going to be any option to um, have additional places. So to do that, you just go to the Cambridge um, uh, testing website, which is admission, admissionstesting.org. And here you go to help at the top. And then you can submit a new request here and write basically what, uh, what's your problem and they, uh, they will get back to you. Okay, so now we have the third step uh, ready. Uh, we would need just to pay for um, the registration, which is the final step. You just enter your uh, credit card uh, details and uh, that's basically it. Okay, so I even have paid for the test just to show you how it looks like after you go through the um, payment. Uh, so you just get your registration confirmation here. And you also are going to get this email where it says that you have confirmed your registration. Okay, so now let's go back to University of Italy website and go to our account here. The reserved area, your personal area. And now it appears that we're uh, registered for the IMAT. You can see here the details of the registration. And here you can download the copy of the receipt for your payment. And I would advise you to take it with you when you are going to the, to the exam venue. Now, one more important thing to notice is that if you go here back, if you have registered as a non-European, uh, um, you would need to also do the pre-enrollment. So if I go back to my reserved area here, you have here more information about the pre-enrollment application, which is beyond the scope of this uh, video, but you can try to click through it to see it for yourself. And like I've said, this step is only necessary for the non-European applicants. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, so just please make sure you're registered to our newsletter at medschool.it. Uh, you just enter your email de details here and mark which uh, news you would like to get, and we will send you the latest updates. We have some interesting uh, things also uh, in our plan. Uh, for example, we're going to be making a, a big uh, poll about the options that people choose. So to make sure, sort of, to have an idea what are the most popular universities this year. So make sure you're subscribed to the newsletter so you will get the link once we start uh, doing the poll.